Hello, members of FSC 210, uh, Professor Luke, Ernie, Agatha, and any other people who want to watch this. But this is my presentation on my masterpiece, Barnacles. Uh, name, you'll figure out why I named it in a couple minutes. It's kind of obvious once you figure out what my item is. Here's a photo of the masterpiece, which, as you can see, it shows a lot of depth around the edges of these circles here. In the left, the middle, the top, a little bit cut off at the top. Oh, well. <laughs> the masterpiece as a whole is also extremely colorful, while having an interesting grid-like pattern of these red, green, yellow, blue dots spread across the whole piece, while also having this very beautiful rainbow pattern that goes from the bottom to the top. In order to create this masterpiece, I decided to use a sterile microscope, and this is for a couple reasons, uh, due to the nature of my object, which I'll reveal soon. I want a microscope that I can show depth, color, high detail, lots of resolution, without needing to magnify the image too much, since my object is already pretty interesting. You don't need to zoom in anymore to make it more interesting. As an added benefit, the sterile microscope also has a top light, which is extremely useful in the creation of my masterpiece and you'll see why. <laughs> Stereo microscope works by having two lanes of light that travel independently at slightly different angles from the specimen into the viewer's eyes, which as shown in the diagram, which I took from uh, Professor Luke's second week of slides, the light travels from the specimen into the objective lenses, uh, where it's separated into two separate paths, which each in turn pass through their own zoom lenses, before passing through a prism, which just reflects the light around, and then into the eyepiece and out into the viewer's eyeballs. In the case of my specimen, since no underlight was used, but max top light was used, the top light first shined onto my specimen before reflecting off and then into the rest of the microscope. There's also a magnification dial that's present, which allows the increase or decrease of magnification of the image, and also a focus knob, which adjusts the height of the stage relative to the objective lens, allowing for the uh, picture to go in and out of focus. Well, here's the reveal. My image was created from a copy of Bioshock 2 for the Xbox 360. This uh, is actually pretty interesting because this copy had some 3D elements to it, which were present in every little tiny bump and building, and as well as the glass chip here on the case, which is the reason why I wanted the stereo microscope for its 3D viewing. And there's also this metallic sheen that was over top of the whole Bioshock 2 logo here, which allowed for that rainbow effect, which was created for my image. I placed the object under top reflective light with no underlight, along with a lens magnification of four times, which resulted in a total magnification of 40 times due to the objective's lens 10 times magnification. The top light was especially useful since it shined directly onto the special metallic coating and allowed for me to change the color of the rainbow effect depending on how I tilted the top light in order to create the most beautiful and aesthetically pleasing image. As you can see in this photo, I have circled exactly where I pointed the microscope onto my image. And you can see that because there's these two barnacles on the underwater sign, which are here and here. And they're present in my image as well, here and here. And as you can tell, they're basically the exact same shape because it is the exact same shape. <laughs> Um, the grid-like dots that are present are due to the uh, inking process that's used to create the, the rest of the image, which is the greens, the reds, the yellows, everything else. And they do that by combining these dots in a very compact way that's not viewable to the regular eyeball, but under magnification, you're able to see the dots, and more or less of a specific color of dot will create more of that color to the human eye, allowing you for it uh, to have that color to be present on the picture. Well, that's it for my presentation. Thank you very much for listening. Hope everyone stays safe out there with the ongoing pandemic. Maybe we'll get to see each other again before school ends. If not, see you next year and get well. <laughs> Have a good one.